the DNA is transcribed into mRNA in the nucleus and processing of mRNA is completed in the nucleus. It remains associated with specific HNRNP proteins in a messenger ribonuclear protein complex or mRNP before it can be translated into the encoded protein it must be exported out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. The nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by two membranes which form the nuclear envelope. The only connection between the cytoplasm and nucleus is through channels called the nuclear pore complex NPC. Now the nuclear pore complex. NPCs are large proteinaceous structures that form aqueous channels across the nuclear envelope or membrane. NPCs are composed of multiple copies of up to about 50 proteins termed nucleoporins often abbreviated as NUPS and consist of three structural units. A ring like central framework surrounding the central channel of the pore is sandwiched between the two peripheral structures. The cytoplasmic ring from which the cytoplasmic fibrils come out and the nuclear rim that anchors the nuclear basket. The NPC is cylindrical and displays an eight fold symmetry. At the center of the pore is a spoke assembly of eight annular units anchored to the membrane by luminal subunits. Attached by column subunits are two rings, one facing the nucleus and the other the cytoplasm. The nucleoplasmic side of the NPC is decorated with fibrils. On the nucleoplasmic side, a cage like assembly is attached. The nuclear pore complex NPC provides a channel for transport of substances between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. There are roughly 3000 NPCs situated in the nuclear envelope. Smaller molecules that are less than 9 nanometer in diameter like ions and metabolites may freely diffuse through the NPC between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. Larger molecules between 9 and 28 nanometer in diameter must be actively transported through the NPC in a controlled process that is selective and energy dependent. Each pore is capable of transport in both directions, apparently even at the same time. Transport of macromolecules including mRNPs, tRNAs and ribosomal subunits out of the nucleus and transport of all nuclear proteins translated in the cytoplasm into the nucleus occur through nuclear pores in the process that differs fundamentally from the transport of small molecules and ions across other cellular membranes. Distinct RNA transport mechanisms are responsible for the export of different species of nuclear RNAs, mRNAs, spliceosomal uSNRNAs and tRNAs. This implies the existence of mechanisms that are able to distinguish between RNA species while in transit. Several studies demonstrate that the mRNA export requires proper three prime processing including addition of poly A tail and binding of multiple molecules of the poly A binding protein PAB1. Although some mRNAs can be exported if their 3 prime ends are generated through the action of a ribozyme. This is a non-physiological situation. 
multiple classes of RNAs are exported from the nucleus, mRNAs, tRNAs and ribosomal subunits produced in the nucleus are exported through NPCs to function during translation in the cytoplasm. The same NPCs used for protein transport are also used for RNA export. Export of RNA is receptor mediated and energy dependent. Different soluble transport factors are required for transport of each class of RNA. Ribosomal subunits are assembled in the nucleolus and exported by exportin 1. While export of the ribosomal subunit is carrier mediated and requires REN, tRNAs are exported by a dedicated exportin. Exportin 1 is the transport receptor for tRNAs. tRNA export requires REN. tRNAs may be re-imported into the nucleus. Messenger RNAs are exported from the nucleus as RNA protein complexes. Most proteins that associate with mRNA in the nucleus are removed after export and returned to the nucleus. A few are removed immediately prior to export. Signals for mRNA export may be present in proteins bound to the mRNA. mRNA export requires several novel factors. One factor DPP5 is an ATPase and may use energy from ATP hydrolysis to remove mRNP proteins during transport. Transport receptors. The vast majority of nuclear transport receptors are members of a large family of proteins that exhibit a high affinity for a small GTPase called REN in the GTP bound form. GTP guanosine triphosphate is an energy carrying molecule used in the cell signaling. A GTPase like REN can cause GTP to become GDP guanosine diphosphate which will change the properties of the GTPase. The GTPase REN regulates the interaction of the receptors with their cargo's RNA. The GTPase act in concert with several cofactors. The striking property of REN cofactors is that they are asymmetrically localized in the cell with some predominantly cytoplasmic while others are predominantly found in the nucleus. This asymmetry helps to control the two-way transport between nucleus and cytoplasm. Karyoferins function as transport receptors by recognizing and binding to cargos that carry nuclear transport signals and interact with NPCs. Now export proteins. Substances like mRNA that are transported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm contain an export signal which is recognized by export receptors. Some proteins involved in the translocation of mRNA through the nuclear pore adapters as export signals. For example, some common proteins associated with mRNA like HNRNPA1 and HNRNPK have been shown to contain export signals. Also, the proteins associated with the 5 prime end cap of the mRNA called cap binding complex CBC acts as export signal. They are not crucial for the transport of mRNA but may play a role in the directional translocation since 
the 5 prime end of mRNA is transported in the lead. Export receptors bind to the export signals and carry the cargo the mRNA to the other side of the nuclear pore complex. In the case of mRNA transport an export receptor called CRM1 is believed to be important. Now directional transport. In order for the export protein to bind to the export signal on the cargo a protein called REN GTP is needed. REN is a small GTPS that is common to all eukaryotes and is found in both the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The REN GAP promotes hydrolysis of GTP by REN. The REN GEF promotes exchange of GDP for GTP on REN. The REN GAP is cytoplasmic whereas the REN GEF is located in the nucleus. The whole complex the mRNA with the proteins acting as export signals the export receptor and REN GTP is transported together through the nuclear pore complex from the nucleus to the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm the complex dissociates and in this process REN GTP is hydrolyzed to REN GDP. The receptors are then recycled to the nucleus. REN controls nuclear transport by binding karyoferins and affecting their ability to bind their cargos. Interactions between karyoferins and nucleoporins are critical for translocation across the nuclear pore. mRNA may only be transported from the nucleus to the cytoplasm and not in the other direction. The asymmetry of REN GTP or REN GDP is thought to be one important factor of this directional transport of mRNA. Detection of defective mRNPs. Before the transportation could take place, detection of defective mRNPs is important to ensure the entry of an export competent mRNPs mature messenger ribonucleoproteins. Two systems have been described in yeast that detects defective mRNPs. One of these results in retention at sites of transcription in a process that is dependent on the nuclear exosome. A complex of several 3 prime to 5 prime exoribonucleases that ultimately degrades mRNPs that are not released for export. A second system operates at NPCs and includes the myosin like MLP1 and MLP2 proteins which extend into the nuclear interior from the nuclear basket of the NPC where they interact with NUP60 and the nuclear envelope protein PML39. MLP1 interacts with NAP2, an mRNP protein important for proper pre mRNA processing. Through this and perhaps other interactions, mRNPs containing introns are retained in the nucleus. Karyoferins function as transport receptors by recognizing and binding to cargos that carry nuclear transport signals and interact with NPCs. The mechanism whereby shuttling proteins are exported from the nucleus is best understood for those containing a leucine rich NES nuclear export signal. The mRNPs are transported to the nuclear pore. Before the translocation through the nuclear pore begins, 
Some proteins for example, the splicing components dissociate from the mRNA. Then the proteins destined for export from the nucleus contain a nuclear export signal NES, each of which targets them for transport. DBP5 interacts with the cytoplasmic fibrils of the NPC. Soluble transport receptors called importins and exportins or caryoferins recognize and bind macromolecular cargoes and facilitate the transport through nuclear pore complexes. Many classes of RNA are transported via REN regulated caryoferrin dependent pathways. Export proteins bind to the mRNA and as a first step in the translocation, key contacts occur between the 5 prime end of mRNP and the basket of the NPC and the mRNP then appears to dock at the entrance to the central channel. The mRNA is translocated through the nuclear pore with the 5 prime end the cap structure in the lead. Then when the mRNA arrives at the cytoplasmic side of the nuclear pore, even if parts of the RNA are still within the pore or on the nuclear site, many proteins dissociate from the mRNA. Among those are the export proteins, the nuclear cap binding complex and the nuclear poly A binding protein PABP2, which dissociate and return to the nucleus. As it enters the cytoplasm, ribosomes bind to the emerging mRNP. The translocation through the nuclear pore is an energy requiring process, but the exact mechanism for the transport is not known. The mRNA is immediately ready for the next step translation. On the cytoplasmic side, the exported cargo is released and the receptor returns to the nucleus without the cargo. The information coded in the transcript of mRNA has to be converted to protein to maintain the flow of genetic information. For this purpose, various export signals and receptor proteins perform transportation of mature RNAs and release them into the cytoplasm where it gets immediately ready for translation.